and I'm joined by Mets prospect David Thompson. Now, David, you went to Westminster Christian High School, mm -hmm. also known as the high school that A Rod went to. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, I mean, I love. I went that, to that school from kindergarten through my senior year, okay. so I absolutely loved it and uh, had some great friends and great, great coaches that I grew up grew up with. Now, you beat his home run home run record for most home runs hit in the state of Florida. Growing up, did uh -huh. you ever think you would be linked to Alex? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, just to be in a sentence with him is, you know, is an honor, and uh, I hope to one day get up to the level he was at. I mean, I mean, I don't know about that level, but just to get up to the where he was playing at. Have you ever talked or had any interaction with him ever? Yeah, actually, a few times. He used to always come back to the school, and he had a basketball camp, and uh, would talk to our team and stuff like that. And actually, at lunch at his house one time. Oh my was, gosh, that's pretty cool. That is really yeah. cool. You, okay, we have to stop there. <laughs> no, we're not stopping this, but continue that. How was lunch? How did that come about? Um, it was back in, it's probably an NCAA violation, but it doesn't matter now. But, uh, <laughs> By was, the way. It was back in uh, when his, I met with his agent to possibly be my advisor. Oh, so cool. uh, that was kind of how the whole thing got started. But, I mean, it was really cool. He just opened his house to me and got it, uh, brought my parents and myself along. Do you remember what you ate? Um, not really, not really. The craziest part was, I don't even know if I say this, but it was when he was dating Cameron Diaz. So she oh, was there, which was, awesome. so I was just kind of like starstruck the whole, with those two, those two around the whole time. And your family's there with you and it's them too at his house? Yeah, so it was a pretty surreal moment. That is, that's incredible. I mean, we can just cut, just kidding. <laughs> that's really awesome. But let's talk a little baseball. So you've talked about buying into the Mets approach. What exactly does that mean? Um, I mean, for me, I mean, it's a great approach. Just, you know, looking to hitting certain pitches, picking, hitting our zones, not going out of the zone. And I'm just trying to get better at staying in my zone and not, not chasing as many pitches. You were so successful in high school. How has that, how have you changed your approach and what has changed in your approach in pro ball? I'm um, just trying to shorten everything up, have a shorter swing, and uh, be quicker to the ball, down earlier. You know, these all the pitchers here, every every year just get better and better. So just trying to shorten up my swing and be as quick as possible. It's only a couple weeks left of Arizona Fall League. What are some of your takeaways so far? Oh, this has just been an unbelievable experience. You know, getting to work with, like, Jay and Gookie and these guys every day and the, the guys on the team and just learning from them and building, building some new friendships with the guys here. Now I understand faith is a big part of you and who you are. How is how do you balance that and being in the spotlight? Um, I mean, just you know, I, I know it's a blessing to be out here, and I thank the Lord for letting me be able to play this game and keeping me healthy up to this point. And I just try and I know He's given me the ability, so I just try and glorify Him and uh, do that out here. Is there a role model that you have or had one growing up? Um, yeah, I mean, my biggest role model is my brother for sure. So I uh, just try and. Uh, be like him, talk to him every day pretty much. So just, that's my biggest role model. Best advice he's given you could be on or off the field? Best advice? Man, there's a lot of wisdom coming <laughs> from that guy. I, I don't know if I could pick one thing. He's just always, he's always encouraging me and uh, always, uh, whenever I have anything, he's always there for me. Now that would be a role model. Who would you say you mimic your game after? Mimic my game after? I don't know. I mean, I, I try and I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah. I just just try and be myself and uh, pick pick up things from any any guy and uh, improve as much as I can. Now your off season is going to start pretty soon. A couple more weeks. What are you most looking forward to? Um, just a little relaxation. You know, uh, play a lot of golf, hopefully, yeah. and uh, hang out with my family and friends. Golf and baseball players seems to always go. I know Dan Plesac is the biggest golfer. Why is that? Why is baseball and golf go together so well? Um, I'd probably say because they're both such mental games. You know, yeah. it's uh, a lot of you got to stay even keel the whole time, and it's it's really hard to do in baseball and hard to do in golf. So I think that's why they kind of go hand in hand. Do you have a favorite golfer? Favorite golfer? <laughs> Phil Mickelson probably just because yeah. that's who my mom always loved. <laughs> yeah. And Arizona State, gotta gotta give up to the uh, Arizona State. Didn't, didn't even know that. So. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. Yep. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs>